Hello. Greetings. So, a while back, Jesus Freak 777 which is, by the way, an extremely difficult name to say over and over again. Take that into consideration. Made a video called, What Does Atheism Contribute to Society? Uh, at the time that I saw it, I wrote a little reply to it. I've been meaning to read it on camera and upload it, so I'm going to do that. All right. Oh, and uh, I'll link to his video in the description. Okay. What does atheism contribute to society? The question is worded wrong. As has been repeatedly expressed, atheism is not a thing into itself, but rather nothing more than a non-belief in God. It would be kind of like saying, what does a racism contribute to society? It's a wrong question. The question should really be, how does theism denigrate society? And the answer to that is the same as the answer to what atheism contributes to society. If you want to talk about specific atheists that have contributed to society in various ways, we can do that till the cows come home, but I don't feel like it, and I'm pretty sure you already know. Now that I have that out of the way, I want to address the issue of people tolling up all the deaths under different ideologies. Not that atheism is an ideology, but whatever. Uh, in short, I think it's childish and stupid. I'm interested in what's true, and death tolls don't have to do with that. Also, it's important to note that the killings are not in the name of atheism. You can't kill someone in the name of something that is a non-something. Atheism is merely a lack of belief in a deity or deities, that's it. Any justification for killing that you have, and not you, I mean the people who did the killings, is just your opinion. It's not atheism. It may be atheistic, but it's not atheism. Atheism is only a lack of belief in gods. It says nothing about killing people. I don't think that if religion didn't exist, bad things wouldn't happen, which I know is something that a lot of people will say. I don't think that. People do bad things, and that's just the way it is. Don't worry, though. The good news is we seem to be getting better. It's also key to point out that religion is simply part of a greater way of thinking that I call groupthink, or tribalism, or groupism. Religion is just one of the labels by which people identify the group that they are a part of. That's why I like humanism so much, because we're all humans. That group is completely non-exclusive, unless you're an animal. And when I say animal, I mean a non-human animal. Animals are cool, too, though. Uh, although communism... Uh, although, what I should say is, although Soviet, uh, the Soviet Union was atheistic, um, it is more relevant to point out that they were also strongly nationalistic which is one of those forms of groupthink, which can be just as dangerous and destructive as your garden-variety fundamentalist religion that will fly planes into buildings. Um, by the way, socialism and communism are not always atheistic. There are Christian communists, there are Christian socialists. As for the good things that have been contributed by Christianity, I don't know of any. I know of lots of things that were contributed by Christians, um, but that's not the same thing. There are a lot of good people in the world, and a lot of them are Christians. A lot of them are not. A lot of them are Muslim, a lot of them are Jewish, a lot of them are atheist, agnostic, Buddhist, Hindu, 
Zoroasterist and Pastafarian. I don't know if there are any Pastafarian charities, actually. There should be. Uh, if I'm talking too slow, I'm sorry. It's like 1 and 30 in the morning. Where was I? Oh, you mentioned that you do not see atheist or secularists contributing to society or performing charitable acts. I don't want to go into that issue too much except to mention that there are secular charity organizations, which I will link to. You write off Christians in the past that have done bad things as not being real Christians. This is unfair and unjustified. First of all, as I mentioned, I don't care about, you know, oh, well, all these bad things have been done in the name of Christianity. And when I say I don't care, what I mean is I don't care as far as its truth relevancy. It can be true or false independent of that. But if we are going to delve into that cesspool of tolling up deaths, then you can't simply write off all the bad Christians as not being Christian because they were. They believed Jesus was their Lord and Savior. That's all you need to be a Christian. You're doing a no true Scotsman. And by the way, I have my own philosophy, and it actually includes not hurting people unjustly, so I can write people off as that. Um, and if you're going to say, well, the Bible says don't hurt people, well, it also says do hurt people in some places. So they can get their justification out of there. That's a stupid point anyway, though. I have been using labels like isms, labels and isms throughout this video, which brings me to my last and probably most important point. Labels are stupid. There is no single label that fully describes me as a person, and I doubt that there is even one that I agree with 100%. I use them simply for the purpose of conveying my thoughts without having to explain everything I say. They are a major time saver, but they can also be a major problem as in a conversation because people make assumptions that may not be true. For example, I like Ron Paul. I think that he would probably be the best president out of the current field of candidates. I, however, disagree with him strongly on several points, mainly religious ones. Um, people often also say, well, he's just that crazy, you know, 9-11 conspiracy theorist person. First of all, he's not. Second of all, I'm not. So, I don't agree with him on everything. I just think he is the best choice. So, if I say that I like Ron Paul, don't assume that I agree with everything he says. Just as if I say, I, I don't know, I can't think of another example. But that was a pretty good one anyway. Um, of course, the only ideology I agree with 100% is Pastafarianism. Red sauce be upon him. I think that uh, it's likely true that most people if not all people, don't have something that they agree with 100%. So, uh, the only thing we agree on is that we agree on nothing, and some people wouldn't even agree to that. These are my opinions. Ignore them. Think for yourself.